بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم After praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and peace and blessing on Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam, his messenger. For many years, as we all know, I've been in the, me and my family, in the receiving end of hugs and all the good people around the world. And alhamdulillah, the time came when I'm standing here I'm still in the receiving end, alhamdulillah. Their attention and their love and their care. Wallahi, it did not end even after I came back. It did not end even though, alhamdulillah, I come from a wealthy family, but yet they did not stop nothing and they carried on until one day I found out and I said, please, brothers, stop all the help, stop everything, alhamdulillah. Now I'm willing to start to help. The whole essence of tonight is to let the people understand the importance of hugs. Truly is not about individuals. And we have to understand the whole essence of Islam is not about individuals. We have to go over that. Yes, some people suffer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let them suffer for a reason. So the rest of the ummah can find their way. Can understand that the minority, they are the one who make changes, not the majority. I would love to share a small story. Uh, my brother, he said, please share a story. It will be a lot. Definitely stories is so easy to remember so easy to extract wisdom and knowledge out of it. We are as a community in this society, in, as a British society, we know we've been suffering a lot from long time, before 9-11. Some of you didn't realize that, but people who were in the front line in Islam and they're trying to breach the words, and truly calling for Islam, calling for the genuine Islam, making da'wah, going in the street, having da'wah tables. We've been chased from that time, back in the days. We've been intimidated. So it's an old story, but it builds on. So when I came back, I got shocked with, with seeing all these new rules in the name of fighting terrorism. But one thing we have to understand for us to make a change, we have to get together. Definitely, we have to get together. We have to participate in everything that the Muslim gather to do together to change the rules. The story I want to share with you, that's something we used to see every day, almost, in Guantanamo. We have a black bird in Guantanamo. He's not a crow, he's a raven, which is two different kind of birds. But the amazing thing about that bird, that subhanAllah, he used to protect all other birds, regardless. Because we got falcons, we got vultures, we got so many predators there, and we got the small tiny birds that they are all over the place because we feed them the birds and all that whatever we can afford to feed them. The amazing thing that when you see any bird get trapped, all of them, they get together. All of them, they try to save that bird. And they stay by him until they get him out of his trouble. Once upon a time, a cat grabbed one of those small little chicks. Wallahi, the birds chased that little cat all over the place, and we are watching until the cat dropped that bird, and he flew away. Can we be like that bird? Can we stand with each other? 
Or are we going to wait and something, until something happened to our home or our society and then we start crying loud, why did it happen? I ask everybody, not just the audience here, the families, the people, everywhere, that spread, spread the word that we have to do something. Insha'Allah, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, hugs is not going to be in England or is not going to be in Britain. It's going to be all over the world. We need hugs everywhere. We've been blessed. I've been blessed that my wife is here. But there is so many thousands and millions of families that now have nobody to help them, to take care of them. Alhamdulillah, they were with my family from the beginning until the end. By the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then by the help of all these people who participated voluntarily by work, working with hugs or by giving money or by spreading words. But in the end of the day, we have to do our part. I brought a lighter with me. Forgive me for taking another, another minute. I promise you I'm not a smoker. But, you know, this is what happened. When a father disappeared from the house, the light goes off. That house get dark. But for that fire to stay on, we need people like hugs. And we need people like you to protect that fire from going off. That's the reality. So everybody need to understand that one day, maybe he is going to be the next one who will go to jail. He is the one who is going to be stopped or his kids is going to be taken away. Who's going to look after them? So please, try to participate. Try to do the best you can to spread the word. And inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to see hugs all over the world for the Muslim ummah, inshallah. Jazakum Allah khair. There's not a mother in this world who wouldn't be happy to have a home for her family.